taking a look at the THE gun belt from Spec Ops. This is a heavy duty gun belt designed to be a modern version of the uh, same type of gun belt used in the Old West. Same premise. Um, same things we like about Spec Ops. Easy to read label. It's got their phone number, their website right there. They take pride in their gear. They give you a lifetime guarantee and there's they back it up. They have a, uh, a label right there with the uh, phone number. If you have any problems with it, no problem. Just give them a call. Uh, they also label their gear with these uh, worthwhile um, sort of instruction slash marketing and I think they do a good job you know sometimes it's over the top but if you take a look at the spec ops one it's not it gives you a little bit of information about the stuff the construction and the materials so that you know you're getting your money's worth this is about a sixty dollar gun belt um, but it gives you some information about why they developed it and how they came up with this solution um, it gives you more information about the how to use it. It's obviously a belt, so it's not super complicated. But the concept being, uh, if you're carrying any amount of gear on a regular basis, just like in the cowboy movies, the guys didn't wear their guns on their pants belt. They wore a second belt that would take the load of the, the weight of the gun and the ammunition and whatever other gear you might be carrying. Uh, so these days, not just law enforcement, but plenty of guys overseas, uh, plenty of people in training classes and whatnot, might be in a similar situation where they're going to be carrying a firearm and some ammunition and this gives you that option of uh, wearing it on the belt and not on the, the your pants looking at some of the features uh, starts out with heavy duty you know webbing material cut on an angle and uh, I guess it's melted or somehow they've applied a nice strong edge to it here uh, that's strong enough to feed through the belt buckle with no problems without fraying or anything like that. The buckle is high impact polymer and uh, just enough shape so that you know you've got the top or the bottom, you know, by feel, you know, where that is in your hand. Again, they've got the impressive label there with their phone number and everything so that you can get a hold of them if you have any trouble. Um, for the most part though, it's a nylon belt with a backer. And the backer and the belt are held together with Velcro. You've got these keepers, which help uh, keep everything together or help keep gear in place. But you see, I've got a smaller, flexible boat, uh, belt to take the load, which goes around with the soft loop. And if you really want it, I guess you could wear this separately. And then you've got a, a heavier backer type of webbing, which... Uh, has the opposite side of the hook loop. So as you put it together, let's say you were gonna put a holster here, you could keep the holster in place, uh, similar to the old holes on the older stuff or the Molly uh, loops in the newer stuff, but this is sort of an infinite. It can be placed anywhere, uh, a holster or any piece of gear could be placed just about anywhere along the belt and then held in place so that it doesn't slip back and forth because of the hook and loop. Uh, again, further, if you wanted to lock something into place, you could set these up. If you notice, it's done on a hook and loop type of system so that this keeper can be adjusted again anywhere you want. Run your other belt through your holster, let's say. Let's say, for example, I wanted to run this holster right here. I could run the belt right through it without any problem. And now when I placed it here, it's hook and loop up to here, the holster, and then hook and loop again. I can add this keeper right next to it. just so to be certain that it doesn't shift. Come around the right way with it. And now this isn't gonna shift back and forth on the belt, yet it's totally secure. Uh, this is obviously just an example of using a paddle holster, but I could have done it with any type of holster, or any type of pouch. And you can see that now it's on the belt in that position. And unless I really want to, I'm not gonna get that out of there. If I really tried hard I could probably because it's a paddle holster 
rip some of the Velcro and get it out of there. But when it's being worn, it's going to stay in place, and that's the effect we're looking for. So in addition to the inner and outer belt, as I've sort of alluded to, there are these keepers, and there's two adjustable keepers, and then a keeper on each end. And together, it creates a simple, lightweight, yet strong platform to carry a holster, uh, firearm, and potentially ammunition, lights, any other gear you might need to carry. They come in a couple of different sizes. This one's the large, because we're not very small. Uh, it comes, though, in an extra large and a two extra large, as well as a small and a medium. So, um, so far, high quality belt is our first look at it. Obviously, it's still got the tags on. We'll use this one a bit and stay tuned for a, a review later with some uh, after action and how we liked it after use.